<laughs> what the heck? We ordered a Wrangler. We have a gladiator. This car is massive. It's huge. Ooh, it's fun though because we never tried this car before. I know, it's exciting. This is your spot, babe. <laughs> We got the room key. Let's see. Welcome home. Oh, this is super fresh. This is super fresh. Oh, so clean. And we got to run to the view. Let's see what we have. Yes, baby, it's a view. Are you happy? Oh wow! Look at that! Oh my god! And straight down to the pool when they have a party! Was a ship that put to sea, and the name of that ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew harder, bow dip down, blow me, bully boys, blow. Soon may the world so we thought that why not start off with a hike, as I told you. And that guy, he's terrified because, guys, look at this. I don't even know if you can comprehend the steepness of this hill. It is. I need to go in here. Yeah. That is a stair, right up. So it's over a thousand steps and we are going up there just so you kiddos know. Okay, let's do this guys. All the way up, right there. I'm ready. How are you feeling all the way up? Fucking not all the way up. My legs are so pumped. <laughs> yeah, the pump is real. And we're not even up yet. But the view is absolutely That's incredible. <laughs> You should see the sweat snow, and this is what we have to deal with. <laughs> the incline. Let's go. <laughs> Twenty-one minutes, guys. Pretty decent. It's the worst. <laughs> it's the so worst sweaty. cardio I've done this year. Not for me, but yeah. it was solid. I haven't done that much cardio though. My pulse was up at one ninety. <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah. see my sweat. I mean, I think we did good. I think we did really good. Twenty minutes. Yeah, it's pretty decent. It's decent. It's supposed I was... to take like sixty to ninety minutes. So, yeah, but the one is very steep on the way down, so I might. I have, yeah. what do you call that? Hole? Hole. Yeah, hole. Uh, whatever that is. Yeah. And I have this new hat up. Yeah, very it's gonna be yellow. It's I'll gonna sweat be. after. Yes. It's worth it, guys. It's worth it. Guys, it was actually one other level that we could go to. And this is worth every single step. Like, wow. Amazing, isn't it? So cool. I look like a drenched cat right now. Like Are you a, sweaty? Like a salt block. Like, I'm drenched. That was pretty goddamn incredible. about to head out for the other side of the island. Not sure who will come. Before sunrise either. Oh yeah, that's that not, too. That's not half <laughs> but it's beautiful. Guys, it is the first day of actually exploring the island except from the hike yesterday. And we are heading towards the North Shore and stopped at a kawaii beach. It's adorable. I am so happy right now. Yeah, we're having a photo shoot too. <laughs> so I have in my life. You're a soldier, choosing your battle. Pick yourself up and dust yourself off and back in the saddle. You're on the front line, everyone's watching. You know it's serious, we're getting closer. This is an Okay, a little windy update. You're looking cute. How was that? 
the bowl guy. It's one of the best things I ever tried. So we are having lunch at this very moment and I needed to fill you in because we went to a place which has gotten really famous through like Netflix. We saw it on a guy that has been like giving a lot of good reviews on places here in Hawaii. And this... Let's look at the shrimp. These two combo plates are ridiculous. It's a furukake um, salmon. salmon, garlic shrimps, Kobe beef, and a pan fried ahai tuna. Which was freaking awesome. I'm, I'm blown away. It's a 10 out of 10, and you will see more of that on the Pick Up a Foodies channel. So, yeah. But I just needed to, see, like, I needed to show you guys. We are actually walking a small, <laughs> little cute city where people are jumping from this little bridge. They're going nuts. <laughs> uh, dude, we are on a sincere like food tour. Uh, <laughs> I feel so full. Um, we have been trying foods in Orchard. That's pretty much the only thing that we have been doing. But I gotta say that this place is so cute. It's very like, it's gorgeous surroundings and everything. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, so we are going for our last stop before we either go on a hike or find a gym. We're still decisive. So. Giovanni's shrimp truck, baby. I'm excited. Let's go. Guys, too bright, but I'm going in. Oh, that shrimp is better than this morning. Lanikai pillbox hike has been made. We're almost down again. There's like this little country club with a golf course, golf course. And look at those views. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. I would say uh, a solid 8.2, because I think it was too short, not challenging enough and too crowded but otherwise the views worth are it though. yes absolutely the views are 10 out of 10 so definitely worth it i just felt for more of an adventure because this morning's hike was amazing um but yeah solid 8 out of 10 maybe even 10 out of 10 just because of the views I don't know if I should call this a hike. It's more like a paved concrete uh, incline, <laughs> pretty much. But it is absolutely beautiful. And that is like a crater forest kind of thingy, hill, whatever. But it's really beautiful. It's beautiful. It is. Okay, <laughs> sweaty much. So in the other episode, I showed you guys a leg workout. And this is the very same day. I'm wearing the very same outfit. But we found out that our hotel gym is actually pretty dope. So I went back down to get in some cardio and also some shoulders and abs. Um, because your girl wants to have some more shoulders. But I just have to show you a little bit glimpse of this hotel gym. It's amazing. So decent cardio session made in that corner. And in that corner, we have a multitude of actually machines too. We have a back, chest, shoulders, leg extensions, leg curls, uh, free weight, and a cable. Freaking amazing. So I'm happy. It's kind of a view because the pool area is outside. Yeah. I just wanted you guys to know that. And now it's time to explore some more of this amazing little town. Sunset on the magic island. Pretty sick. Pretty sick and I have to. Guys, I'm quite sad because I have actually liked this hotel, but it's only going to get better from here. It's only going to get better because we are swapping hotels. Um, I would say that the modern is good, but I'm having high hopes that the next one that I will bring you guys to right now uh, and I will catch you on the other side. 
it's time to check in. Let's see. They might be disappointed already, according to Henry. Let's see, let's see. All right, oh, let's it see. Looks really nice. Looks fresh. And let's see if we have any views here. It's a sea view, for sure. It's a sea view. Oh, that's pretty nice. Pretty dope. So I gotta say that I really like the view. Look at that view. And I like the infinity pool downstairs. But I do like the bed. It looks amazing. And let's see how the bathroom is. Good mirror. I like it. Let me see. I mean, to be honest, I did expect a little bit more from the entire like bathroom area. If I'm gonna like this shower, doesn't look like four star hotel or five star hotel to me. But I'm okay. I will deal with it. Where did you go? <laughs> Where did we go? It's too big now. There it is. What is up? Welcome to Waikiki. Guys, we just arrived to the gym and this is what they have on the inside of it. I think it's like reef sharks. Yeah, it's reef sharks. Are you sure? That, that yeah. one looks like a shark, actually. I'm gonna throw you in there if you don't do as many reps as I no, tell you. No, I, I don't want that. But this is a decent freaking hotel oh, gym. Yeah. They even have a leg press. Oh, Smith machines too? This wow, and a rack. That is the best hotel you might ever see. This, I, I totally agree. Best one so far. Lot of blessings piling up that I ain't even wish for. No, left over for y'all. I'm locking the fridge door at the crib, cutting hits. I ran through the catalog, came to conclusion, no one's touching this. Just finished the maiden voyage, hopping up the Mayflower. Set up shot to kill them off, whatever the take pass. Sing the boats, I'm at home. I'm selfish with the goals, I could give a fuck who try and get along. 6'3, you can't look me in the eyes, you ain't grown. Coming on shore. And to be honest, I have no idea where I'm at in the video, in this vlog, because it's gonna be spread out over a full week. Because I don't think that you would necessarily love two vlogs. So we will do a little bit of everything in this one. Uh, but we are actually on a place called Margame Odon. They had over 9,000 reviews. So we felt like, okay, let's go there and check it out. Because normally we do not love to eat on places that's in the center of a, um, a tourist street because we know they most often are very overrated. But this place, even me jumping on my own channel to tell you that this was sick. I am so hot because we had such a good curry. Um, it is from Japan with love. And I can tell you so much love in this one. Yeah, with that said, we're gonna keep on walking the streets of Waikiki and show you some B-rolls and stuff. Um, but yeah, the, la the second to last evening. I'm sad. Yeah. I want to stay. Good morning, guys. Yeah, it finally is catching up to me that I haven't been sleeping so well the past week but nonetheless we're up early and going to go not to that side but to the other side over there to do the diamond head hike and i am super hyped it's going to be the last hike that we do before we leave and this will also be the last part that i record because we're leaving in the morning so yeah come on guys let's go to the hike tour guide <laughs>
another hike has been made that calls for five or six hikes even though we might not count two of them but still it's made um and i gotta say the crouching lion the lanikai and the stairs that we did in Coco Head Trail are my top three favorites. So those are absolutely worth going to. The Diamond Crater, it was very easy. A lot of people, it cost $5 to do it. Do you have to do it? No, not really. Um, but if you are limited on time, if you stay in Waikiki and you kind of just want to take a nice walk with a little bit of a hill climb, you could actually just walk up there take the five dollar entrance and then get back down to the city uh we have a little bit of a rain cloud over us and it just poured uh which is kind of refreshing but we yeah we took ourselves way down back down to um the city um we had an acai and that is going to be it for this amazing hawaii trip so i will catch you back in venice next time and until then, all the best. And oh, yeah, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. And oh, yeah, maybe one more thing. How would I rate this entire trip? <laughs> maybe you should, are going to ask that. I would rate this trip a solid nine out of 10. I would definitely think about going back. Um, and if so, I would stay in Ala Moana. I think that area was amazing. Uh, and I would spend more time up in North Shore because there's so many good eats there. And you can see all of that on the Pick Up Foodies channel. But yeah, no, all good. Bye-bye.